Hi, my name's Taryn Lane. Many of you will have heard about Embark Australia, which operated since 2010 uh, as a support service for the community energy sector. And also there is the Coalition for Community Energy, uh, which was founded in 2014 and has hosted the two very popular uh, national community energy congresses. We had one in 2014 and 2017. Over the past 18 months, these two organisations have been coming together in a merger. Uh, and this is really exciting because it allows the Coalition for Community Energy, which pre previously has just been an unincorporated association operating under uh, a collective impact governance system to really uh, find a place. Um, so Embark you know, is hosting C4CE now uh, and that's fantastic because Embark has a DGR status uh, and is also a public company not for profit so it gives it a really solid structure to operate from. To oversee this process there's been a core group of directors uh, facilitating that. So that's been Donna Luckman, who's the CEO from the ATA, Gavin Ashley, who worked for MEFL for many, many years, and myself, and, and I've uh, been working for Hepburn Wind for over eight years. Um, so the us three directors are also part of the broader committee for, for the Coalition for Community Energy, so the advisory group, uh, and we've been making sure that there's momentum uh, growing within the sector, so uh, building on the Congress that was hosted last year, having a webinar series, uh, and a commitment recently to develop a knowledge hub for the sector. Today I'm, I'm pleased to announce that, that uh, now that we've completed the governance transition, um, we're really excited to open up uh, for the official board uh, of, of Embark. Uh, Australia and Coalition for Community Energy to be founded and that's where we'd love you to get involved. Hey all, uh, my name's Gavin, I'm one of the current directors of, of C4CE and I'm just shooting this video to, um, to let you know about an upcoming expression of interest process to become one of the directors of, of C4CE. We've got a couple of directors or, and steering committee members who are uh, moving on and doing other things like studying and moving up overseas. So we're hoping to refresh the leadership, take it from three directors, which includes myself, uh, Donna Luckman and Taryn Lane, to a group of approximately be between five to seven, which would be responsible for the, the governance and management of, the, um, of C4CE. Now, it's, um, you should expect in your inbox over the next couple of days some more detail on the, on the responsibilities of what a, um, what a director is, both for the organisation and, and generally. And I encourage you to have a look at that document over the next um, couple, of, couple of weeks when you're rested up, uh, rested up after a big year in the community and in, energy industry and have a think about what sort of energy you might be able to bring to the organisation. Uh, so nominations are actually due on the 13th of January which should give you a little bit of time after after Christmas to, um, to have a think about how you'd like to be involved. If directorship is, is something that feels like a step too far we'd also love to hear about what you could offer to the organisation. There's some volunteer positions and committee positions that don't necessarily need to be um, part of directorship and and, and maybe more maybe more suitable for you. So I do encourage you to have a look at that that document. Um, do get in touch if you've got any questions as to as to what it takes to be uh, a director. And um, if you want to get in touch directly, my number is zero four zero five three two four one six seven. I'd love to have a chat about how you can be involved. All the best for the season and looking forward to a great year in 2019 for Community Energy. Take care, bye. Hello everyone, I'm Heather Smith. I'm the Chair of the Coalition of Community Energy this year. So as you all know, C4CE is about growing the community energy sector, making our energy system more renewable, more democratic, faster. And we've had a busy 2018. I'm really pleased with the way the webinar series panned out. We'll be doing a lot more of that in 2019, creating opportunities for you to share your experiences and your learnings and to inspire each other. Um, we've already started planning for the year ahead. 
it looks like our next Congress will be in 2020. So let's make the most of events um, in the calendar for 2019 where there are opportunities for us to talk community energy, catch up and connect with each other. Thank you all for your support this year and I hope you all have a wonderful uh, Merry Christmas uh, with friends and family and please fill in an EOI, join us, get involved. There's lots we can do together. In